YouTube, what's up? My name is Celine. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about feminism, which is a topic that I've got a lot of questions in the past and recently on. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about what it means to be a feminist, why I call myself a feminist, and what really feminism even means in its simplest definition. You know, you're just going to regurgitate everything that Lacey Green has said. I should know this because I've made many, many, many videos on the exact same copy and paste argument. You're going to say the wage gap argument and then say some other shit that Lacey Green has already said. <sighs> Why is it that every fucking feminist must repeat the exact same argument? It's already bad enough that Lacey Green exists and she comes up with the worst arguments ever. And these arguments have been debunked. The only reason I'm even making this video is to pass the time. That's it. There, there, there's no other reason for me to make this video outside of passing the time. So if you are interested in any of those ideas, if not all of them, then keep on watching. I'm going to start the video off by saying what feminism even means so that way you have an idea of what I'm talking about before I even get involved in everything that I'm about to say. Feminism just means that you want basic equality between men and women. Dictionary fallacy and we all know that is wrong. Once again, feminism is just equality between men and women socially, economically, politically, intellectually, militarily, this list can go on and on. I'm going to be skipping a couple of parts because she's just going to repeat herself again and again and again and again so just you know, this is just for the sake of our sanity. Kind of a bad thing because you would hope that in like a year's time there would be some things that have changed um, between um, equality, but really there has not been much progress. Maybe because there's nothing else to fix and you've already gotten everything? Hmm? Have you ever stopped and considered that? Um, at least in the United States there hasn't. And it's a proven fact that a woman makes roughly around 70 cents for every a dollar that a man earns. First, citation needed. Second, a proven fact? Have you looked at any counter evidence against the wage gap argument whatsoever? No, of course not. Expecting you to look at any form of evidence is expecting the KKK to be accepting of black people. And that's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. And it really bothers me when people say, you know what, I don't even care because I'm still getting paid. Because you, in fact, should care. Because you are absolutely losing that money for no other reason other than the fact that you were a girl, that you were a woman born. That's it. Just because you're a girl means that you are getting paid 30 cents less than a man is. Okay, I think you're just making shit up because I doubt that any girl has said they are okay with the fact that they're being paid less due to nothing more than being a woman. For fuck's sake, Sargon of Akkad has gone to extreme details on how the wage gap is wrong. In fact, this wage gap seems to vary between YouTubers. One says it's 70 cents, another says it's 80 or even 90 cents. One even a minute, the wage gap is around 2%. There's only one explanation to this. This is a scare tactic that feminists love using. We all know if these feminists admitted that the wage gap is not as large as they say it is, then people won't be shocked about it, so they must bend the truth. And not even just 30 cents, but if you think about thousands upon thousands of dollars that a man will make, a woman will make hundreds and hundreds of dollars less than that of the man. And lately in today's society, in the media especially, a lot of celebrities have come forward and said whether or not they are or aren't feminists. And this has got a lot of different reactions from two different groups of people, one being feminists and one being anti-feminists, and the anti-feminists most of the time don't even know what a feminist even is. You mean to tell me that these people are opposing feminism without even doing any form of research? They just hear the word feminism and they go fucking batshit crazy! That's a load of shit! People like Sargon, Skeptor, Mr. Epsion, The Amazing Atheist, Warcorp 66, Spinal Swordskin, Vein 666, Vindicator, Goodfellow, Undoom, The Asshole Data, Vimoro, Monday Matt, and many more just don't know what feminism is according to you. So it's just people who are confused on the term itself. But anyways, these celebrities, by saying that whether they are or aren't, have been sparking a lot of reactions. So if a woman says that she is a feminist, many feminists are very happy about that because it shows that they are believing in basic equality and rights of both women and men. Sorry to say, but these feminists believe in a big fat lie. 
And for example, stars like Meghan Trainor, um, Shailene Woodley have been saying that they aren't feminists and they haven't really been saying what they think a feminist really even means. So let me get this straight. If a celebrity says that she's a feminist, there's no other questions asked. But if she's not a feminist, then you have to ask, why is she, she a feminist? It must be because she just doesn't understand. Quick, give her the Holy Bible. I know what I said. And people who have been claiming that they are feminists have been saying that I do think that a man should be treated the same way as a woman and, you know, vice versa that. Um, again, like those celebrities that are saying that they're anti-feminists aren't even clarifying what they think the term feminism even is. So it's just, it's just a very broad term that has been used for a lot of different things and I think people are getting the terms mixed up. Arbiter of Truth, do say more! I think the key reason why a lot of people are saying they aren't feminists is because when they think of the word feminism, they think of the 70s, like women who are saying, I hate men and burning their bras and not shaving their arm hair or leg hair or anything just to prove that they hate men and that they aren't going to be um, under the standards of society or things like that. But Well, you're not too far off. When someone like myself see a feminist, we see a spoiled little brat that demands more and more until they pretty much get everything to themselves while disguising it as kindness. Feminism isn't really that. It's feminism, if anything, is saying like, I love men and I want to support men and I hope a man supports me the way I support them. Yeah, just look at all the things feminists focus on that supports men. When's the last time a feminist organization tried to focus on things that men face? Because... After all, you do care about men, so clearly there should be something on top of your head that clearly shows that there are actually feminists focusing on men's rights. Right? And that's really the concept of it. But again, since people are so focused on seeing these images of these women who are just violently, like, you could see that they're very aggressive and very passionate about what they're talking about. And I'm sure that some people who are feminists do burn their bras and that they don't shave their arm hair. Feminists across the Twitterverse were of course shocked, SHOCKED that this was happening. How could an attractive woman be put on a poster? So naturally they went to deface them. This generally involved feminists walking up to the adverts, writing something or scribbling something on them, and then bravely tweeting about it. And a couple of them even decided to use their own bodies to deface this poster. And the feminists really went crazy with this. They seemed to take it on like it's some sort of community activity, like this needed to be done to advance the cause of feminism. You are attacking our cameraman! Over the 12 years that I was running the refuge, if I went to speak, there was screaming feminists outside. I tried to publish a book called Prone to Violence. We finally did get it published, but I had to have a police escort all around England, and there were death threats and bomb threats. <laughs> The original video came from Spinosaur Skin, which I will leave in the description. Anyway, how can people not think this way? Are you going to tell me that these people aren't true feminists because they are doing something unfeminist like? But it doesn't make you, it, like, okay, for someone to say, I don't want to be a feminist because I actually like men, that's not what feminism is. Not I know, these people actually care about men's feelings. Go on, do tell me that you actually care about men's feelings. Go on, go, go on, tell me, tell me how much you care about men's rights. Not shaving your arm hair and burning your bras and hating on men is not what it means to be a feminist. Sure, a feminist might actually say, you know what, I don't wear bras just because I don't feel like wearing bras. And yeah, that you could be a feminist, but you could be a feminist and say those things, but that does not make you a feminist. It just makes you someone who doesn't want to wear bras and you just don't want to shave your arm hair, leg hair, wherever it may be. Why is feminism so important and why is it talked about so often in the media is a question that a lot of people have been asking, especially recently with all of the commotion between sexual harassment and um, especially on college campuses and also around the world. But 
um, around the world, a lot of these issues have been kind of left to silence. What makes me very upset is that people don't really look into um, areas in the world where feminism is not even existent. It's not even a form of society. Jeez, if only feminists actually do something productive. Like not talking about how sexist video games are. Here, there are so many jobs where actually it's kind of illegal. Not kind of. It is illegal to um, say that someone can't, if you're a boss, you, you can't not hire someone just because they're of a different gender. Like that's, an, that's a rule. That's a law in America. But in other places, that's not the case at all. Um, there are so many young girls who are aged like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, um, teens, who are forced to marry older men, much older men, just because that's what the tradition is in those countries. Look, just because you acknowledge suffering around the world doesn't make you good. If you actually care, or rather, the entire feminist community that cares, you would think that maybe, just maybe, you could focus on those countries instead of being triggered by rape jokes? And in those countries, feminism is not relevant. There's no such thing as women's equality. There's no such thing as standing up for um, younger girls and girls around the world. I just, I can't stress enough how important it is that um, we, ha we are so privileged as it is right now, but we do not have all the privileges that we should be having. And there are those who say, you know what, women have enough right as is. They can vote, they can get a job, they could take care of a baby, whatever. They have rights. Why do we need to give them more? Well, same could be said for men. Why? Why does a man need to have all of this stuff if he has this and this already? It's the same for women. And no, it is not. Because unlike you, we can back up what we say. Unlike you, men actually suffer. Yet feminists like yourself, who are a cisgender white woman, would dare compare herself to a black man in America.